Limp Bizkit's Fred Durst really had no idea what he started at Woodstock 99. It was the biggest moment in our career because it was so intense. Never done anything like that before. Still haven't. We rocked that place that first night and everybody had fun. The second night, Limp Bizkit f***ed it up for everybody. <laughs> they really did. I mean, it was wildfire. There were people everywhere. And when we finally went up to, to play, it was like middle, middle of the day. And we had like the best slot to where the energy would be super high. So we just got up and we played our show. We walked on stage and it was that wave of people bouncing as far as you could see. Hundreds of thousands of people and it was the most amazing adrenaline pumping moment that I've ever experienced and I was so amped and ready to rock and we just did what we do You know, it is what it is. It was just me doing my thing because during our performance. I saw people surfing on plywood I That's some right there, that crowd surfing on the plywood I was like, that's amazing. How cool is that? I'm gonna go do it so I jump down off the stage and I go out in the crowd and I'm telling them to bring the plywood over here and they're, they're surfing it over and I get up on it and I'm just start rocking on the plywood. You know, I'm, I'm partying with you guys. You know, I want to be out here in the crowd with you. This is amazing. I had no idea there was anything negative going on at all. You got a job I think they understood that I meant, okay, let's get rid of all that negativity so we can bring positive in. That means start j jumping, you know, jumping and singing. It doesn't mean start raping and, and burning the place down. That's definitely not what I meant. I remember getting off the stage and having some policemen with my manager come around me and say, Fred, I think you kind of incited a riot. They started ripping down buildings and the scaffolding, and that's the plywood you were surfing on. That wasn't from walkways going to the restroom. They were tearing down things, and there's people getting hurt. I go, I didn't see any of that. Everybody I saw was having an amazing time. Fred with his, like, come on, let's break stuff, that song, him doing that, it just sent it over the top, and that's when all that stuff happened. There was people hurt, people got beat up, hit, all this craziness. He instigated the whole damn thing. I was right there watching it. It wasn't a fun Woodstock type love fest. It really turned violent. It turned ugly. It was really a dark moment in music. And instead of stopping the show, Fred Durst stoked.